All right, I'm selling my 2011 Ford F-150 XLT. This is the 5.0 V8 4x4. And this particular model is the Texas edition. And the Texas edition has some additional features. Um, you'll see on the inside, like the, the power rear window and some of the other interior features are a little different than a standard XLT. And it has the tow package with both types of trailer connector. And you'll notice that this one does have a backup camera installed. On the top here, we have the roll and lock cover. It's about a, I think they're about eight or $900 upgrade. Has a key to be able to lock it. And on the outside, we also have the NFAB steps. And this one has the turn signals on the mirror. It doesn't have any blind spot monitors. And Nitto Terra Grappler AT tires. And then on the front, we've got the brush guard, fog lights, scratches. There's some scratches and scuffs on the paint. Um, there's no dents on the truck. You look top to bottom on this truck, there's no dents. The original owner who had this truck was in Texas. He, his family had it for majority of its life. Then my mother-in-law bought the truck and was gonna resell it. And then I told her I wanted it, so I took it. When I got it, it had, see it's got the entry here. When I got it, it had 190,000 miles on it. You see on the interior, it's nice and clean, real sharp. Right now it has a little over 227,000 miles. I've had it for just over two years. Now what I've done to it is I installed an entirely different stereo system in this truck. So you'll see here, it's got a JVC head unit and I kept the steering wheel controls. So I wired in an adapter to keep the steering wheel controls in the doors, we have kicker C-series speakers, front and rear. In the back, down here, we have two Harmony Audio 12-inch subwoofers. And then if we reach back here into the secret compartment, set this down here. Back behind here, we have the two kicker amplifiers. They're both the C-Series kick, kicker amplifiers. This is the CXA 800.1, which is going to the subwoofers. And then this is the kicker 360.4. Those are the RMS ratings. So that's 360 watts total uh, divided evenly between the four door speakers. Everything is tuned to match what the rated our uh, what the rated power output uh for the wattage tested from kicker and I, I don't recall the exact amount of voltage it was two years ago that i set this up but everything is tuned perfectly so there's no need to mess with anything if you do i'll be sad worked very hard on that there you go that closes back no one even knows it's there you lose your underseat storage because of that. You have a little compartment there for straps and other types of things that you might want to carry in the truck. And simple storage. Doors are clean. Seats are clean. You got storage on the back here. You see the ceiling's nice and clean. Everything's clean. All weather mats. All weather mats in the front. Now, when we get in the truck, let's see, we got center console here, glove box, AC controls, and then when we start up the truck, there's your four-wheel drive control there. 
this particular model, since it's the XLT Texas edition, it has the, the 4.2 inch screen in the middle instead of just the standard uh, one color monochrome display. Now you notice we do have one tire pressure sensor fault. Uh, must One of the batteries must be dead. I ordered new sensors. Um, I'll, they'll, I'll just include them with the truck and whenever you end up going to get new tires, have them check them, put the ones in that maybe change all of them would probably be the best idea. And then now here's the head unit. And this is Android Auto, Apple CarPlay compatible. I have a cable here for iPhone. And uh, I, can't, I can't show you since I'm recording it on my iPhone, but uh, you'll see in the pictures, you'll see one that shows the Apple CarPlay display. It's simple. I actually have it wired in to where this USB input right here is the USB input for your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. And this right here is the microphone for any calls. Got the AC on. AC is ice cold in this truck, always has been since I've owned it. And now this truck is awesome. It runs great, has a brand new battery, just changed the air filter. I changed the oil every four or 5,000 miles. And I haven't really had any issues with it the last couple of years, just changed out little things here and there. Um, it does have an intermittent issue where the advanced track light will come on and you won't have your turn signal. See, you notice right now there's no issue. It's perfectly fine. Everything works fine. But it does come on and it does go off. Now, it could be a wire, it could be a fuse, or it could be worst case, it could need the, the electronic power steering part that contains the sensor to be replaced. Um, it does not affect the performance of the vehicle whatsoever when it comes on. So the vehicle still drives perfect, starts fine, drives fine, absolutely no issue, except for your turn signals won't work. You'll have to just hold them down. So when that light comes on, you do have to mess with the turn signal differently. It's annoying, I hate lights. Um, I wish it was the easiest, simplest fix, but maybe it is, hopefully it is, or it could be more complicated and you might have to replace that part. So, you know, the truck is clean, otherwise runs excellent. It's been well-maintained from the original owner, extremely well-maintained by me. As you can see, I keep it pristine inside, like a nice truck, clean truck. But it does have that issue. Um, I can't think of any other issues that the truck has. It's been my daily driver for the last two years and it's an awesome truck. It will make someone happy, especially if you fix whatever's wrong there, then I'd say you're good to go for years to come. So again, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Uh, I price it according to worst case scenario. If you do have to change out that particular part for the electronic power steering, the lowest price I found for that part is through Rock Auto, which after the core trade-in, it's like $560. Um, so, you know, I'm priced less than anyone else. This does have a sound system in it that is, two years ago when I put it in, it cost probably about $1,300 or $1,400. Now, because of inflation, the same stuff costs even more than that. So, end up with an awesome truck that's set up to really be a great daily driver. Um, you can drive it every day the way it is right now. Just, you're gonna want to fix whatever's wrong with it. And, uh, and you can at your convenience. So, you know, get out and show you one more time. Real just awesome truck.